I am going to let you in on a little secret. No, it's a medium-sized secret. No, it's a big secret. You know, it is actually a huge secret. Come to think of it, I don't think it's a secret at all. Because let me tell you about these people. There are people around you that makes you feel good. Really, really good and positive and strong. Yes. Happy people, smiling people, joyful people, charming, popular people. In the middle of the crowd there he is or she entertaining everybody else. And everybody is smiling and laughing and it feels just great. You would like to be with these people. Sometimes you convince yourself, try to at least, that you have a little bit of this within you. However, at the end of the day you don't. I have a confession to make. I also would like to be a little bit like that. I can play it for a while, I can pretend, but it actually wears me out. It's kind of... It takes your energy to try to be like this all the time, but they are like this all the time just by nature. However, in all their happiness, in all their joyfulness, they are also a little bit too positive. If that, is, if that is even possible. Too positive. Oh, the sun is shining, everything is great, and even though you say, well, it's actually kind of cloudy, I think, I believe it is actually, yeah, it's raining. They will go, yeah, 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 but the sun is always shining somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how annoying isn't that? Sure. Sure. Sometimes you too want to be that positive, that happy, that joyful, that charming, that popular. But then again, you're not. You are just you. But that is okay. Again, there's nothing wrong with being you. But you're not like that. Neither am I. Even though I would love to be a little bit more like that. So, who are these people? Where do we find them? Where can we get to know them? And how can we learn something from them? And do our ears... Are they prepared for this? Let me introduce you to... The Yellow People! Who are these people? How can we recognize them? They are enthusiastic, positive thinkers, as I mentioned before, smiling all the time, spontaneous, creative, communicative, very talkative. Uh, they, they actually use a lot of words. Yeah, use a lot of words. A lot of words. Did I mention one fact about these people? They use a lot of words. Actually, they talk all the time. Time. How do you know the other person is talking? Well, he's breathing. Actually, that, yeah, that's why he's talking. <laughs> However, most things they say is really interesting and, and, and fantastic and they really inspire you because that is what they are doing. They inspire the lot. These people are creative, more creative than anything you have ever encountered in your life. I mean, a lot of people are creative, no doubt about it. These people, though, they are so creative and so imaginary thinkers. So I think some of them haven't touched ground since late 90s or something. Let's say you have a problem, you sit there and fiddle with it at work, you know, you can't solve it, you can't, it doesn't. You, you just can't solve it. Go look for the most yellow individual you can find. And then you say, take your problem and then you say, hey, how would you solve my problem? And they're going to do it like this. Uh -huh. And there it is. And you will say, wow. Wow. How did you do that? I don't know. Can you document it? Put it on a piece of paper? Oh, you mean in writing things down? No, no, no. That's not my color. I'm good at other things, you know. Now I get this fantasy idea. Maybe we could go back to the horizon up there, up on the hill. How did we get there? I don't know. But can you see yourself at the top of the world? And off they go. And this is how they are. Thoughts are in their mind all the time. Back forth, back forth, all the time. A good friend of mine. A good businessman. A really good salesman. He can talk to anybody about anything. Whenever. He gets a thought in his head and did I mention yellow people talk a lot. Quite a lot. He doesn't even know what it's going to be. The problem is it sounds brilliant all the time. I've been thinking about this for a long time and I can see it in his face. No, you haven't. You are actually thinking out loud. In a strange way, still it's interesting. Now, that's the beauty of this. They are so good communicators, the yellow one. So they can make anything sound 
absolutely brilliant. There is no end to it. What do we do? We lean backwards and just listen and think, this is brilliant. The man is a genius. Every sentence, every word, every single syllable sounds just, it just makes sense all the time. Also, always full of energy, full of confidence, full of charm, smiling, as I mentioned all the time. They cannot talk without smiling when they can, but they don't because they know instinctively. We trust somebody who is smiling because smiles open doors. You know this, everybody's more beautiful and lovely when he or she is smiling. It's good if the smile comes natural to you. And he knows everybody. Even people he hasn't met yet or just friends he just haven't got to know properly yet. That's his attitude, which is beautiful. It's lovely. He likes everybody. And most people like him. Some people even love him. His clients, they totally love him. Oh, they love him because he inspires them and makes them believe they can actually change the world. I don't know if they can do that, but they believe it after talking to him. Yeah. Anyway, this guy, he knows this, of course, and he thrives. From it. He just keeps going and makes everybody happier and happier and happier all the time. When he goes back to a client for a presentation, he writes something on the, on the, on the whiteboard there. And, and again, I've been thinking about this for a long time. It might just be that he actually explores his own mind as he goes. You see, that's the beauty with yellow behavior. They create this atmosphere in the room that makes people relaxed and comfortable and feeling, you know, at ease because they are so good in building relationships with everybody all the time. They are excellent masters of the game. No doubt about it. Just fine. What am, I, what am I talking about? It's going to be excellent, great, superb, again, on the top of the world. That's what he's promising and sometimes he can deliver. Yeah. So this is the yellow character. Very charming, very convincing. They are positive. I don't think some of them have an, has a negative thought ever. They just don't, they're not wired like that because they are by nature positive. And I think positive is actually better than negative, my own personal opinion at least. Intellectually, we understand it's easier to be positive to get somewhere in life. Yellows don't think like that. That's the beauty of it. They just act it out because it comes natural for them. They just go, thought, talk. Now here I usually say when it comes to red behavior, thought, action, thought, action. No, 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 not here. When it comes to yellow, it's more like thought, talk. Did I mention they talk a lot? A lot! Let's be serious. Let's talk about this charmful part, shall we? Even though it is charming to be like this, spontaneous and open-minded and everything, sometimes it causes other people problems. This guy I just mentioned, he, before we had sat navs in our cars, he always took another way to the office every time, every day, for some reason, in the central parts of Stockholm, the capital of Sweden. He had to take a new way every day. But what happened, is he, he, he got lost. And then he called the office and said, hey, where am I? And we, you know, try, tried to ask questions. Okay, what do you see? Is there a yellow building? Is there a big crossroad? And then he got a sat nav in his car, but as he couldn't read the manual, well, he didn't like the manual. He hates details and, you know, learning new things, nah, not really. So he had to call us anyway. And then we also, can you program your sat nav in your car? But I like calling you, he said, because it makes me happy. So he charmed us into helping him doing the drive back to the office. I mean, how silly it's, as it sounds, it's still the truth. And everybody loved him. It's crazy. I have mentioned a couple of times, the yellows are good with words. <laughs> no, no, let's take a look at that sentence again. They are good with words. No, they are not good. They are excellent with words. They are brilliant, over the top with words. They are so good with words, it's almost scary. <laughs> In fact, a lot of yellow people, they just open the lid at the front and out comes whatever. Nobody knows. I call it unprocessed material. And the trick is, they're still gonna sound completely reassured. Even though they themselves don't have a clue what they're gonna say. That is what fascinates me. They don't know where they are going and they sound just so confident that you can't help yourself. You have to listen where this is going. 
To be completely honest, I believe a lot of yellow people are actually really afraid, even scared of silence. They have to fill it with something. Are you silent for two or three seconds? Let's talk. Let's fill the silence with words because the silence can actually hurt us. Of course, it can't hurt us, but I think yellow people really feel that way. Let me tell you about my sister. She is really good at keeping the conversation going. And it runs as smoothly as anyone could ever ask. She asks questions, shows interest. She's really eager to learn and to get to know everybody all the time. Everybody loves her. She's the most popular person on this planet. I have actually never heard anyone say anything negative about her, which has never happened before in the history of human beings. I think. She asks questions, shows interest, great interest. It's not until you start to pay close attention that you actually realize this. She never listens to the answer. No, 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 no. She can ask the same question five times in the, in the reach of 20 minutes. I usually answer different things each time to see what's going to happen. And I can tell you that's not what she's good at listening. Yellow people are the lousiest listeners on the face of the earth. Now they would never admit that, but they just don't hear you. They are good talkers, not listeners. That is a huge difference. So when it comes to my sister, it can backfire. Sometimes if it's important, she's going to be left in the dark completely. So, the downside to the yellow behavioral trait according to DISC theory, they are usually really poor listeners. Not that they would admit it, but it's still the truth. I just have to tell you this story about my sister, who I love dearly, but she don't pay attention. She just don't. Many years ago, when satellite TV was a new thing, this is many years ago, some of you who's watching this cannot imagine a world be Look at my face! I remember the times before! Yay! We were sitting in their living room. It, this was a Christmas uh, holiday. All of the family was gathered, I think 15, 16 people in the room. And my brother-in-law, he had bought all the right equipment. And I was so envious. Why do you have this when I don't? Too much money for me. But anyways, that's not the point. The point is this. Then he takes the remote and pushes a button. And he pauses the whole thing. And it's the news because the news anchor is turning towards the weather guy like this and freezing in the middle of his movement. Everybody else is starting to talk. My sister is sitting in the middle of the room watching the screen like this. She doesn't say anything. Completely silent. But I can see. And then he comes back, sits down and he pushes a button on the remote again. And then the recording starts, you get the point. But she didn't get it. She says to her husband, what did you do there? And he said, well, I made a cup of tea. He said, no, 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 no. what did you do to the TV? And I said, well, I paused and I started the recording because I wanted to see the weather, because you weren't taking any notes, right? No, no, you, but you can't do that, she said. And he said, well, why not? It's my TV, I do whatever I want with my own TV set. And she said, it's live, you know. And he said, doesn't matter. Still my TV, yeah, but what will everybody else say? What were you thinking? And she goes, oh, that got kind of crazy. <laughs> she wasn't sad at all, just whoops, did it again. That is the challenge with the yellows. They just don't pay attention. Would you like to go yellow? Be more witty, more charming, more great with people? You might want to be that, and that's okay. Nothing wrong with that, it might work. I don't know. If you still want to do that, which is completely fine by me, maybe you don't have to go all the way. Maybe you can act more yellowish in certain situations. How about that? Use the strength within the yellow behavior when needed and then go back to being you. Continue to taking notes, which of course is nothing but fine. If you would like to take the yellow path, I have three tips for you that you might want to consider. Number one, ask questions about the other person and pay attention. Do not only talk about yourself. Number two, smile a lot. People like smiles. People love smiles. It gives them confidence. It makes them calm. Smile a lot. Dare to show your teeth because we like it when you smile.
Add on top of that an open body language, like this. Don't close yourself and for the sake of you know who, don't point with your full hand at people. You should never point at people. It's, it's rude, you know. Don't do that. And yellows don't. They are open like this and smiling all the time. And finally, number three. Don't worry. Be happy. Life is beautiful. There is nothing to worry about. You will get out there alive. I can promise you that. I don't think I can put it in any better way. Thank you for watching and cheers. The yellow people! Oh, ow!